just a little too tanner. And we spend about an hour for each service. Um, if it goes over, you know, it goes over. Um, we'll do a, a couple different ideas. Yeah, sure. You know, try to come up with the best look for your day. Um, and then there's, you know, weather's a factor sometimes. So, like, sometimes a bride may want her hair down, but, you know, she doesn't have um, any natural curl to her hair, and so it could flop. If it's an April wedding, we want to maybe have a backup plan. Sure. You know, so if it's a little rainy yeah, yeah. or well, whatever. That's a great thing to talk about. Sometimes they don't think about my, my, a plan B. my wedding is in, you know, July where it's super hot right. over here in New Jersey, or it's in the wintertime where it's cold, and they don't think about, oh, I want it this way, but it, it'll fall, or, you right. know. The good thing is, what, what, lasting, right? Like, how is my hair gonna last the entire day? I'm gonna be taking photos, hugging people, dancing. Does it last? I mean, a lot of times it seems like it never moves, but. Well, you know, we have a, we have a great team that works in the studio regularly, but we also have an incredible, um, pool of uh, freelance artists that work with us. So what we try to do is we try to keep the amount of time that we're working as small as possible and as close to you know the time that you need to sure. be ready so that we're not starting at like six o'clock in the morning right, right. you know and just kind of slowly like two people working on like 12 people and then you know we have to go until six o'clock at night when the ceremony starts right, and right. then go from six o'clock until midnight there. right when when the wedding's over. So to have that, you know, giant chunk of time, we try to keep it as, as close and concise as possible, which is, I think, something that we're sort of noted for. Like, for instance, if they have 10, 12 people in the bridal party, you're, you don't, it's not just you. Right. I mean, you'd love to do it all, but right. you just Well, we've been, we've been called a beauty SWAT team. Um, <laughs> I love that. Yeah, we, it's like, you know, we come in, we do it, and we yeah, get yeah. out, like, yeah. as fast as we can, and That's then, like, great. you know, it's like, what happened? And everybody's like, oh, I'm pretty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, we bring a big enough team to get in to, you know, if you have 10 people in your bridal party and everybody's hair and makeup, that's right. 20 services. A lot of people. And to be able to do 20 services in like two or three hours is something that we can accommodate. And we, we get in, we set up, we start when we say we're gonna start, we have a science to, you know, our scheduling, and then we finish and we always have a cushion of time, whether it's like 10 minutes or 15 minutes, so that you can just breathe for a minute. Yeah, look at and you can just, you know, have that time to like have a glass of champagne sure. or, you know, just, just take it in. Like, Today's my big day. Yeah, yeah. You know? Relax, it's gonna be fun. Yeah, everything's gonna Goes be groovy. Fast, as you said. Yeah. Everybody's so picky about their hair. Mm -hmm. Their hair's gotta look right. Do they, like the whole bridal party, do they come to you and say, do they also show you photos? Or kind of like this is. Oh, the... yeah. Well, yeah, we love when everybody has something and some sort of inspiration because, you know, when you get a girl that sits down and they're like, I don't know. Do you like that or hate that? that I, yeah, I, I, I mean, sometimes it's great because the bride may have a vision for all of her bridesmaids, but if she's just like, yeah, whatever anybody wants, and then you get somebody that's like, I want to turn on the hood, like it up, or I like it down, yeah. or maybe on the side, you know, we're on a, we're on a time, we're on a time crunch. So when they have inspiration for themselves, or they've been in a wedding previously and they loved something that they had done before, we love that. You know, so that's it's always great. Good just to have a, have a little idea, a little of idea, kind of what you want. Yeah, speeds up that process. It does. It does. It helps, you know, because then it's like you know what you're getting. We know what we're giving you. Um, and the, one of the great things, and, and one of the things that I pride myself on, and my staff who are incredible, is that you know we can look at a picture and emulate it. Okay, so you can pretty much get what you want when you bring a photo in. And that's where the artistry comes in. Being able to do that look or draw, I love. That's just. That's exciting. It is exciting. And it's exciting for you because it's kind of, if you did the same thing all the time, doesn't that get a little boring? It does. So that's what, you know, that's one of the things that, that's so incredible about bridal is that, you know, the styles are changing and they're evolving and what people want and what we can give and, you know, and you know, we love going to classes and learning yeah. and seeing the new techniques and, and keeping up with fashion. So how many stylists, you know, would one need for their, for their wedding party? Um, I think keeping it as close to the finish time as possible is yes. the best so that you're not spacing it out throughout the day. So I would say one stylist per two to three people. That's you know, very I think, clever. Yeah. One stylist for two to three people. All right, so <laughs> let's, let's talk about the timing of the day. Timing is so important. Everything so important. Everything happens at a certain time. Um, and now this is why you would hire a professional because everybody has the Pinterest. A lot of people nowadays like to do it themselves. Auntie Viv is gonna come over DIY. and DIY. Yeah, I was gonna, exactly. DIY hair is no bueno. Well, tell us, tell us why. 
Well, I think it's really important whether you're hiring us or whether you're hiring somebody, hiring somebody else, um, that you know that you have a professional. Yes. Um, you know, if your cousin's a hairdresser, if your mom, whoever, it, it's so nice to think that that's going to work out, and, and hopefully it does sure, if that's sure. who, if that's who you're bringing in. Um, but, but you know, they also don't do weddings all the time. They right. don't understand we, like, the mindset. We understand the importance of the schedule. We understand, like I said, it's a science for us. And I think whoever you're hiring should be very aware of that also. So that you know everybody gets done when they need to get done. The services are done at the times that they, you know, 30 minute slots for this, or 45 minute slots. Is, is, and it looks great. Yeah. And your girls are happy because if right. they feel like crap, they're going to be in your pictures for the rest of your life. Right. Like, I hate my hair. <laughs> I remember the hairdresser. Yeah. Oh, God, she was terrible. <laughs> that never happens to us. Of course not. No. <laughs>